Hello there, buddy Dima. Dima here, and welcome back to some more Super Mario RPG Legend of Seven Stars. And you're probably wondering what exactly we're doing here on the world map. And well, my friends, the reason we're here on the world map is because there is a few things that I actually have been meaning to grab for some time now and haven't really sat down and just went to bed to go grab it. And today, we're going to be taking care of that first before we continue on with what we're doing. So with that being said, the first place that we're our destination of pit stops we're going to be making is we want to go all the way back over here to Tadpool Pond. And this is something you could do a long, long time ago, and I feel really bad about it, especially with this music playing. It's like, man, I feel especially bad. <laughs> that being said, though, the thing we want to do is we actually want to go back over to Fraudulist, and we're going to go ahead and talk to him. So that being said, let's jump in these tadpoles over here, nice and easy. Now let's comfort the old man. He looks so sad. It'll be quiet around here with Mallow gone. Maybe a snack will cheer me up. Because believe it or not, this entire time, I had completely forgotten to give him his pie that we spent the entire time chasing around good old Croco for, for that coin to buy the pie with. So, uh, yeah, sorry about that, Fraudulous. <laughs> wow, my bad. That's right, I forgot all about it. I'll give you something for that cricket pie you brought back. I know, you should have the stuff I used when I was Mal's age. So believe it or not, this entire time I've been talking about Mal not having a weapon, I completely kept forgetting to go ahead and grab the weapon we could have gotten so long ago. This here is the froggy stick. It will come in handy. Do not forget to equip it. See, so yeah, this entire time we had a free weapon for Mallow. That I could have had this entire time instead of his weak uh, stretchy punch. And it's a gift from his grandfather, so I feel especially bad for forgetting about that. So my bad for all the people who are screaming at home when I was just not going back to get this thing. I apologize. My bad. <laughs> there you go. Froggy stick. I said froggy sip. Froggy stick equipped. Much, much better. And now the music's back to normal. Yay! It's all happy and stuff. No more sad song. Hooray. Feels good to finally have that song out of here. And it seems like Fraudulous is back in his good old normal mood. So that's perfect too. Before we go though, I want to check these tadpoles out. Let's see. What do you guys got? Uh, do I want to buy anything? I'll buy two elixirs. I have tons of coins. Even after losing... Even after, even after having some trouble with that mini game last time, I still have plenty of coins left over, so yeah, why not? So that's the first pit stop of the day that I want to take care of, and the other one is something I wanted to mention over here at Yoster's Isle. And this is not technically something that's like really to talk about. Like, it's not something to do with Yoster's Isle in particular, but I'm going to be going over here to talk about something that involves the Yoshis. And that is. I want to talk a little bit about the reward that you get for actually beating Boshi here. If you defeat Boshi in the first ever race that you get going on here, you unlock the ability to race him again, after that to bet some cookies for it. And for every, like, the amount of cookies you bet against him, and if you manage to beat him, you get yourself some Yoshi cookies in return. And Yoshi cookies are not only the Yoshi's favorite snack and a tasty treat, they are also an item that you can use in battle. And the Yoshi cookies will make it so that you can summon a Yoshi, which will have a chance of instant killing an enemy upon using it. Doesn't work against bosses, of course, and whatnot, but it's a pretty neat item. It has a cute animation and everything, so pretty handy. I'll be showing some footage on it on screen here, because unfortunately, I don't think, because I suck at the races so much, I don't think I'll be able to show it on camera here during this LP, but it's definitely something I want to make note of anyways. That being said, Boshi, you better be proud of yourself, because this is the one thing I'll never be able to defeat you at. But one day, I shall return, and I'll be a speed demon, and you'll see who's laughing then. That being said, rambling aside, that is all I wanted to do. All the pit stops I wanted to take a uh, little bit of a pit stop at, as, you know, because they're called pit stops for a reason. So now that being said, it is time for us to go back to Moleville, and let's continue on with what we were doing, shall we? Let's go. All right, Moleville, we're here again, all right. First things first, we're at the end. Let's talk to the people here, shall we? It's 10 coins for a night. Y'all staying tonight? Uh, we may as well, I haven't slept here before, so why not? I just gotta say this right now, this is probably one of the most inconvenient, like, slash least private ends of all time. The door is like right over there and I'm sleeping right here. Literally anyone can walk over here and just see me sleeping and I don't know if I can sleep with that going on. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird, maybe Mario's weird, I don't know. What do you guys say, little child? Then I went to the mountain with little might, but a star crashed to the mountain and now, they're be and now they've been trapped. A star, you say? I mean, uh, oh no, not the children. But a star, you say? Ooh. <laughs> anyway, joke aside. Next stop over here, we have the item shop. Let's check it out. Come on in. Don't be shy. Everyone's up on the mountain, but I'm stuck behind the store. So, what you need? 
over here in the store, we have ourselves a bunch of stuff that we can buy. So let's go over this quickly. First thing, punch glove with knockout power, apparently. And uh, it sounds like something out of punch out, so I want this. It's a weapon for Mario. We'll be grabbing that up next. We have a finger shot over here, which is actually an item you can get for free, which I showed off on every, like, earlier in the last episode. You can get it for totally free if you talk to Taz when you get Gino back into your party. And I already got one for free, but if you don't have one and you don't want to get that one for free, for whatever reason, you can buy one right here. Then next up, we got the symbols, which is actually an item for Mallow. However, I just got the froggy stick, so I'm going to wait to equip this. However, it is a better weapon than the froggy stick. But for the time being, I'll buy it. And next up, we got the Mega Shirt, the Mega Cape, and the Mega Pants. Very mega indeed. So as you can probably imagine, the shirt items are for Mario, the pants items are for Mallow, and the cape items are for Gino. It's kind of just how they organize it. And the next up down here, actually we also have work pants here, which is for everybody, which is apparently sweaty work pants, which sounds absolutely, well, gross. Armor for everybody though. And then down over here, we have the mild mushroom, which is the upgraded version of the regular mushroom, which heals 80 HP instead of 30. And we have the maple syrup, the Canadian's favorite item. And I'm not allowed to say that joke because I'm Canadian myself. Ha ho! <laughs> and yeah, restores 40 FP instead of, you know, 10. So, pretty big upgrade. And honestly, uh, should I buy one? Ah, I'll buy one. We have plenty of coins. Let's go around. Why not? And since we're here, and I'm not really going to be using the hammer anymore, I'm going to go ahead and sell that. Uh, I'm not going to be using the shirt or pants anymore. And that should do it. I'm going to go over here to equip as well. Let's equip the new gear, shall we? So we got the mega shirt instead of the regular shirt, the fixed shirt. There you go. Over here for Gina, we're gonna give him the mega cape, which is gonna be very handy because I haven't really talked about Gina too much, but I find that Gina's a very kind of glass candy of a character. He's very frail opening up with only 45 HP and just not having the greatest defense. He's kind of frail at the start, but this armor should help that out. And finally, the mega pants for Mallow. Very mega. There we go. And before we go, I may as well sell these since we're not going to be using them anymore. Sell this and sell this. And there we go. We'll keep these two for now. Actually, wait. I'm going to equip the punch gloves here, which is going to give us a plus 10 to our attack set. However, I am actually going to keep the nook nook shell here. Just because I kind of like having variety. So if I ever want to change it up, I can use a different weapon. There we go. And that should do it. Lots of shopping done. And before we go, what do you got to say, child? It's an emergency. That is trapped in the mines. Uh, apparently, the whole town's up and about it. So, uh... Sounds pretty serious. However, I believe there's a secret over here. There's not. Okay. I may be thinking of somewhere else, but I swear there's a hidden item block somewhere in this town, like in one of the houses. I don't think it's here though, so I'm a liar. My bad. <laughs> over here we got some art. Looks like a water well of sorts. That's kind of neat. And let's keep on going for the town that we've been over there. Over here, there's this, this weird little box display here. Let's check it out. If you go over here to the corner, Oh, actually, never mind. Okay. There's something that happens on here later where we can't do it yet. I thought we could do it now, but we can't do it quite yet. But keep this place in mind for later. My bad. Uh, I think there's something up here, maybe? Nope. All right. Just making sure. Honestly, I'm not going to lie to you. Like I said before, my memory of, like, the hidden item blocks and whatnot, they're not the best. So I like just checking around every now and then just to make sure. What are you two guys doing over here? I pretty start crashing down into the mountain. I want to see if my mom told me it was too dangerous. My mom said she was going to find out what's happened, but she started taking her sweet time. That's, uh, concerning. Apparently the entire town is concerned about this. I mean, I mean, I started freaking crashing to a mountain, so it kind of makes sense. And we got one more house over here to check out, which is completely empty. There's not even an iron block up here. Okay, yeah. Completely and utterly empty. What a disappointing house. What else do we got over here? Oh, I heard something. Oh, look who it is. Bowser, most of our hours have run off. What will we do? We've only had experience fighting Mario. These new guys are too much. Shut up, all of you. I'm the biggest, baddest brute around, and don't you forget it. But if Mario hears that I've been kicked out of my own castle, my reputation will be ruined. Even I have an interesting upkeep, you know? Let's show them who's the boss around here. And off he goes. Sounds like Smithy's giving him some trouble, too. Who knows, maybe sometime down the line we'll break into that castle together to take on Smithy. But uh, that's probably a pipe dream. It's Bowser after all. Also, I don't know how he didn't notice me. I was like sitting right here and he walked right by me. Eh, I don't know. Maybe Bowser just has really bad eyesight. You know, he doesn't wear glasses or anything. You never know. And uh, you look to be quite panicking. What's up? 
I started going to the mountain and trapped some of the kids inside. To make things worse, one of the men folks got stuck inside too. Please, Mario, you gotta help us. What's happening up there? Is she still working up a sweat? Yeah, it's one of the men. Everyone's digging and digging. I can't keep up with them. Well, uh, doesn't sound too good. What if I go check it out too? The men folks are doing their best from the inside. I'm thinking it's from the outside. We gotta help the folks out. Sounds like a real tragedy is going on here. And, uh, personally, being the good guy hero I am, or at least what I'm supposed to be since I'm Super Mario, I think we should step in. Let's go. And enter into the next dungeon of the game, the mines. Oh dear, I sure hope the kids are okay. I know how I feel, but mold around here ain't gonna help a thing. That's what I told her, but I don't know if I'm feeling any different if I was her. We're getting nowhere fast. We never reach the kids at this rate. See it up there? That's the old entrance to the mines. But we can't reach it anymore. If only that fellow, uh, Mario were here, he could reach out in a heartbeat. What? Well, speak of the devil. Well, I'll be a Goomba's uncle if it ain't him in the flesh. Mario, you're a lifesaver. Mario, have you heard the news? Uh, yeah, it's been all over the town. Mario, will I help you rescue them? Who would say no in this situation? There are poor kids and a hole and a man trapped in here. Trapped, like, buried, pretty much buried alive in a cave if they don't get out soon. Who would say no in their right mind here? Of course I'm gonna help. Thanks, Mario. Well, the entrance up there. In that case, let's help them out. Here, hop on our shoulders. There we go. Teamwork makes the dream work. Let's keep going. And now we're into the second dungeon of the game, or at least what I could actually, eh, we'll call it the third dungeon of the game. I consider the first one to be the sewers, the second one being the forest maze. This is probably the third one. And of course, with a new dungeon, we have some ourselves some new enemies here. Two new enemies, in fact. Let's see. First of all, we have the Magmites. These enemies here, they are very standard enemies, except for the fact they have incredibly high physical defense. They're very weak to magic attacks, however, so if you have Thunderbolts, I highly recommend using them against them. They'll not get knocked out very fast. And as a bonus thing about taking them out is that they also drop a lot of Lucky. So if you want to get yourself some bonus experience by trying to get, win the Lucky minigame, this is a great place to do it against these Magvites here. And also the other enemy here, this is a Cluster. And Clusters here, they are also relatively normal except for one distincting fact that they have a move where they will self-destruct and instantly KO one of your party members if they get to pull it off. So be very careful of that. That being said, Gino, take a shot. Take him out. They're also relatively dirty, too. Uh, sturdy, too. I don't know why I said dirty. I mean, they are in a, they are in a mine shaft here, so they are probably dirty, but not the right thing I meant to say. And they also have this move here called Crystal, which is a pretty standard magic attack. That's a decent amount of damage, too. Okay, I'm gonna go for the punch glove over here. Punch glove is just like our first ever t attacking glove, so just do the punch command if you know it, and you'll be fine. And now it is time to rate the thunderbolts on these things. Huzzah! There you go. As you can see, they are very, very weak to magic. And oh crap, that is the explosion move. Which is an instant kill. Which is kind of annoying, so be careful of that. That being said, though, 9, nine experience, get 18 coins. And hey, if you're taking it for when it, you know, can't get knocked out, I'll take it. And whoa, I didn't even see you coming. I looked down to get a drink of water, but alright then. Two more new enemies here! Sparkies! We've seen these guys for a while now, however, this is our first time actually fighting them. Sparkies, they're pretty standard enemies. They have fire magic attacks, but outside of that, they're pretty standard. And they got completely eviscerated by that. Wow. Uh, apparently, they have very low defense, and I forgot. And hooray! Mario's dead again! And we also have this new enemy over here. This is an Enigma. And Enigma's here. I'm not gonna lie to you, I actually don't remember too much about these enemies. I know they had the echolocator thing that you just saw, there was just some decent magic damage, but outside of that, I'm honestly not too well remembering what they do, so we're about to find it together. That being said though, that's Mal's uh, froggy stick in action right there, it's literally just bopping an enemy over the head with a stick, so who wouldn't love that option, right? It's not nice for now to have an actual weapon after all this time, but... Unfortunately, the Froggy Sneak is a little bit outdated at this point, but, you know, it gets the job done. It's better than just our weak little punches, after all. Alright, so these Enigmas, they apparently have a ton of HP, and I completely forgot about that. Alright. There we go, Mars back to life. And, hey, Gene gets to level 7. He's catching up to the rest of the team. And I think for this level up, I'm gonna go for... 
You know what? I'm gonna go for power. This is actually the strongest stall there has ever been. All right, that being said though, I should probably heal up Mario. Actually, wow, I have like no mushrooms. Jeez, I uh, probably should have bought some more, but it's okay because I have special moves and I have HP rain. There you go, back to the full pretty much, perfect. All right, now I'm gonna try to ignore most of the enemies here. However, if you wanna fight them for some good XP, like I said, you get lunkies off these magmites here, so very good to get some XP. Who are you? Hey, have you heard? There's a rare item hidden in the mines. If I find it, I'm gonna sell it to someone in town. I'm in it for the money. I can respect it. You know, treasure hunters are cool. I love Vorio. He's a treasure hunter. And I should have gotten hit by that. But it's okay, because as we just learned last time, Sparkies, uh, they just kind of explode. Hey, I just took it. Wow. And he put my Geno to silence. Although he is a doll, so I don't really imagine him talking all that much, but eh. What do I know about dolls? Fun fact, actually, dolls actually kind of creep me the hell out. I don't know. I don't think I've ever actually. Maybe I've told this story once before in the channel, but I don't know if I ever said it like recently. So, for those who don't know, I have actually had a terrifying experience with a Woody doll before, and that terrifying experience was that I was having a sleepover with a friend of mine, and we were both just hanging out in the basement, just playing our video games. I think we we're playing Minecraft at the moment. Cause we used to do that together all the time, and it was super fun. But basically, we were going to bed after a long night of gaming, and. Out of nowhere, completely in the dark, I hear just this, my Woody doll from a long time ago just go, You're my favorite deputy! And it scared the crap out of both of us. We both couldn't sleep for a while after that. Because it made no sense. We didn't touch it, we didn't do anything to it, it just kind of activated on its own. And from that day forward, dolls have kind of creeped me out. And when I say creep me out, I don't mean like if I look at a dog and like I panic or anything like that. It's just like, it just reminds me of that moment I got super freaked out by the doll. And dolls in general just, just kind of creepy. I don't know. They're supposed to be cute and friendly, but they always end up just being kind of, I don't know, weird. Anyways, rambling aside, over here at the mines, we got some directions over here, and I think we want to go over here to the right, and I think this spring will take us out of here. Let me test, actually. I'm curious. Never mind. It will hit the ceiling and give me a concussion. Coins. Beautiful coins. Grab the coins. Listen up, let's leave this half wit Mario here and split. And we got a beef with that? Well, oh no, he took the coins. She's trying to get those coins back. Oh no, not my 30 coins that I can make back in five seconds. Oh well, let's chase after Croco. All right, so where could Croco be? So yeah, this first boss of ours being Croco, he actually shows up once again here and he's, you know, Part of the story again, so for my first time playing this game, I definitely did not expect that to happen. So, kind of cool to see him again. That being said, new enemy here. Bomb bombs! They explode! I mean, they're bomb bombs. What do you expect? That's their job. They blow up on things. And I'm going to hit this thing with a genie beam before it gets a chance to do that. Outside of that, though, bomb bombs, pretty standard enemies. Besides the fact that, you know, they explode. But the bombs, they are. I feel though genie beam completely destroys them, and I think a punch level knocked this thing out in one hit as well. Yeah, nice and easy. And finally, a Thunderbolt to seal the deal. There you go. Oh, efficiency. Dang it. Knocked everything out in one turn. Which is a good thing, because Croco's probably running away with my coins right now. And, oh, never mind. There he is. Oh, boy. Looks like we're going to dead end here. But not to worry. <laughs> I've got a bomb. Never leave home without him. Well, I guess the chase continues. And there's an enemy there. I actually didn't see that. Oh boy, the same enemy array, huh? Well, I got discovered. No problem. We got Geno Beams. Got a problem? Need to refresh the batteries? Need to take care of anything? Just Geno Beam it. Dang it. I hope the Geno's ever in I think Geno Beam will probably. I think Geno Beam will probably be his F Smash. I think, maybe. I don't see it being a special. I think it'd be. I, I see it kind of being like Mega Man, where he has like a regular move with it. I think that'd be cool, right? Can you guys tell I want you to win Smash? I really want you to win Smash. <laughs> so as you can see there, the Sparkies they also take like no damage from magic attacks. So that's the reason they take so much damage from physical attacks because you have to take them out with physical attacks, like so. Nice and easy. 
think we wanna, I think there's something up here maybe? No, all right, I'm imagining things once again. And off they go. The chase continues. Going down over this way. He's going down over this way, just keep chasing Kroko. We can't go after his bandit friends, however, I think I'm just gonna focus on Kroko here. And almost got him. You actually have to catch him in the overworld too, so keep that in mind. There you go. And once you've caught him, you actually get yourself into, believe it or not, a rematch with Kroko. That's right, our first ever real boss is actually getting a rematch here out of nowhere, which is kind of cool. I like it a lot. Kroko here, he's considerably stronger than the last time, however, for the most part, he's actually the same fight. Just stronger and all, and all, like, he's just stronger, pretty much. If you fought him before and had no problem, you'll probably have no problem here. Remember, he has a weakness to fire, which can make so sometimes he get to attack for a turn. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my fire orb over here. And let's light him up, shall we? Repeatedly. All right, go, 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 go. Get some damage in there. There you go. Only did 15, though, so that's not too strong. And I should probably take the froggy stick off Mallow and give him the symbols, but oh well. And I think for this turn, I'm gonna go for a Geno Beam over here. And my fire points are getting a little bit low, but it should be fine. 38, not bad. As he's going to throw one of his homemade bombs at me. Which I failed to block. And that kind of hurt. It's okay, though. I'm just gonna heal up with, uh, what do you call it? I'll heal up with, uh... What am I, what am I trying to say? HP Rain, there you go. I'll just heal up with HP Rain next turn. I don't know why I was brain farting on that so hard. Admittedly, when I'm recording this, I'm actually kind of tired right now, so... And that's probably the reason why I'm forgetting something, but you know what? I'm, I'm pulling through, it's okay. Gonna go for another Gino Beam over here, get some good damage in. I think starting next turn, I might start just doing the spamming jumps, because I think it's gonna do a lot of good damage then. As he hits Mal for a nasty 20 damage, wow. I'm just gonna go for a jump here, let's see what this does. Only 15, wow, that's not doing much at all. You know what, Croc, I don't give you enough credit, you're actually pretty tough. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and use a Maple Syrup for now. There we go, get 40 FP all the way back, and let's keep it going with the Geno Beam, shall we? Probably should use the flower tab before this, but oh well. What's he gonna do now? He's gonna throw another bomb! No, I'm not- Oh! Cr uh, I didn't get to revive Malu in time. That's not good. Uh, well, good thing I got some pick-me-ups. First death during an actual boss battle. And hey, I got a freebie too. Awesome. Alright, that means I don't have to waste anything. And since I got the chance, let's see how much HP you got left, Kroko. You psychopath. There you go. 535. Oh, I'm good. <laughs> Alright, if you want to be so cocky, you can take this Juno Beam, dang it. Better throw another bomb, and I honestly I think it's the only move he has. Like, I haven't seen him done anything else since the start of the fight, so I think he just throws bomb for the rest of the fight. And you know what, dang it? I may be tired, but I'm gonna try this. Let's go for a super jump. Why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty-four. Not bad. All right. He does have a lot of HP left, though, so we're gonna be here for a bit. One damage. Wow, that was the worst use of FP I've ever done. I didn't think that would do that much damage to him, but only one. Are you serious? Wow. At the 38. See, that's that's more like it. Why why does the why does Thunderbolt have to do one damage? Jeez. And once again, I think I'm just gonna go for a super jump. Actually, now we'll keep it simple. Let's we'll save let's save some FP. Go for a punch above instead. I actually did a lot. Yeah. You want them back? You've gotta take me down first. And he stole something from me. I don't know what he stole from me, but he stole something. And, uh, Mallow, you're honestly not doing too much, so I think I'm just gonna have you stuck to stick to HP. Hey, actually, you know what, dang it, bump him over the head with a stick. Two damage, that's better than Thunderbolt, dang it. I'll go for the finger shot, how much does this do? This does... 54, wow, look at... See, this is what I'm talking about with Gino, he's a little bit on the frailer side, but he does some really good damage, and wow, he missed. That looked amazing, he just chucked it and it went flying off screen. 
probably stick over here. We should do like two damage, I think. Oh no, it does six this time. Okay, I guess I just got really unlucky last time. It's like Pokemon damage rolls. You never know what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go for Chomp once again. Which is really weird that he's it's called Chomp even though he's throwing enemies at me. Which he hasn't hit me with a single one yet, so uh... Yeah, I'm uh... I don't know if you're supposed to be getting serious here, Croco, but you kind of make yourself easier. I say as I completely miss him. Good job, Mallow. Goes for a normal attack, and that actually did a good amount of damage. Wow. Maybe we should also stick to normal attacks, because apparently they're doing way more damage than anything our specials are doing. We go for the HP rain on uh, Dino over here. Get our glass cannon fixed up. There we go. And back to more finger shots. I feel like at this point he's probably getting pretty low. I want to say we're almost done here. Yowch, enough already! Here's your junk. I'm out of here. Alright, well, apparently every single time I say we're almost done, apparently we just magically finish it right as I say that. 10 experience points, 50 coins for our troubles. Not bad. Got the coins back, and we picked up a bomb too, apparently. And this bomb here, even though we actually haven't seen the use for it yet, this bomb is actually required to get if you want to continue on for the dungeon here. So, yeah, get the fight Croco if you like it or not. I probably should have shown off where you have to put it first, but I think we may as well go ahead, go ahead and get the bomb first since, you know, we're already out here and Croco's already around, so, you know, may as well. And this guy's starting to bug me. Go away. Aha! Look how he jumps up to hit him. One more turn. Ow, I actually kind of hurt. There you go. Okay, so now that being said, before I get ambushed by another enemy before we exit the fight, we're going to run like heck. There you go. Get, out of the, get the heck out of dodge, as they say. Let's keep on going. So now that you got yourself that bomb, now we want to take this thing, if I remember correctly. Okay, we don't want to walk into the enemy, that's for sure. But, uh, you know what? I'll just cut this out. I'll see you guys in just a moment here. We already seen these enemies before. Okay, I am back this time without less with, with, with less blah, 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 blah. I can't talk with less delays. Holy crap. I am really tired right now. I should probably stop recording, but dang it. I want to talk to this bull first. Okay, Mole says, seems he found something mighty useful. My kids, Diane and mine are trapped back here. Let's blast through and find them. Oh, thanks, Mario. Now stand back and let me get things going. Let's follow the tracks to the end. What? The star? It's probably in the back. Thanks a million, Mario. Let's mosey along now. Oh, I guess you're right. I'll be a bird on you fellas. Well, then I'm counting on you to find the kids, you hear? Well, thanks a lot, Mario. Guess I'll be going back to tell Ma about everything. And holy crap, that mole can run. So yeah, believe it or not, if you come here before you get the bomb from Croco by defeating him, he'll just tell you that he wants to find a bomb and that you should look around to see if you can find anything around here and I kind of just get that process by getting the bomb ahead of time it doesn't really matter though because you'll end up here nonetheless now I believe before we go anywhere else I think we want to go up here and yeah, there are bombs up here that we can find if we want to and I believe if we go down here just making sure I don't miss it okay there's an item box up there I kind of want to grab that so before we go anywhere I want to jump up from up here. Look at that. Aha, I'm a master of platforming. And up here, you get yourself a free star. Of course, with free stars, you want to run into enemies as you'll be able to get yourself some free XP. If the enemies feel like showing up. Uh, wow, that was the worst star usage of all time. Gee, I didn't even get a single level above that. Wow, I killed like two enemies, maybe? That was pathetic. Don't use stars like I do, kids. Use them wisely. <laughs> and you know what? Looking around here, I... I think I might want to call it here for this episode. Not because we're not almost done or anything, because we're actually about three fourths of the way through here. It's a pretty short dungeon. But because I'm tired, and believe it or not, with a star nearby, I think you might be able to tell that things are going to get kind of interesting next time. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. Sorry for my rambling. Honestly, I probably shouldn't have recorded. I'm kind of tired. But you know what? I wanted to record. I wanted to have some fun. And here we are. So that being said, thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And next time on Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. We're going to keep on going here in the mines and seeing what lies beyond. That being said, see you guys then.